What is up, plungers? Thank you for pulling up and tapping in as usual. In this episode, I'm going to show you the preliminary results of the breeding that I did with the Argentavis and what I finally came up with. While I go over here real quick, well, this is the Argentavis, as you can see. This is him. Her. This is her, as you can see. Dolly. And we're going to go over here and we're going to cap catch this spino that I was taming before I logged out. So let's get this spino and let's talk about it. So it took me quite a few Argentavies, if that's how you say it, plural, to get Dolly here. So let's grab this spino real quick because I picked up other spinos, two others, but they weren't the right genders for breeding. So this one just appeared in the water over here. I've never seen a spino around here before. It was level 86, so I decided to just grab it. So let's just get it real quick and we'll head back over here and check out all these RGs that I got going. And uh, as you can see from this massive amount of Argentavies that I left out, these are all the Argentavies in her bloodline. These are all her ancestors. If you watched my previous episodes, I know I started out settled on a different color scheme, a different colorway for the birds. It was uh, blue and white. But as I started breeding and I started seeing different legs and beaks and crests coming out, and suddenly one of these purple and teal and yeah it was it was instantly the one that i wanted i remember on my evolve series from last year i think i went with red and pink and white for my rgs but this one to me outclasses that one easily so i'm gonna hang on to these six and maybe the yellow one over there so i could have other possible colorways for my RGs. Uh, these are the ones that I like the most out of all of them. And I might throw in a black or white one there to maybe mute some colors if necessary. But yeah, these are the ones I'm going for. And these things eat an insane amount of food as they're just sitting there, an insane amount of food. So I got to get rid of these things quick and get them back into their cryopods and stored away in their refrigerators because they are very expensive to keep here like this. Okay, let me run over here and grab this yellow one that I was talking about, throw him in the mix and throw all of these into their cryopods and then speed through the rest of them. So you can see how tedious the process was to get them back in their cryopods. Yeah, it took me a long time to get them out, even longer to get them back. So with all of that done, we will move on to the second portion of the video, which is the better portion, which is my build near the lava mountain. So we'll head over there and I will let the images speak for themselves, the images and the music speak for themselves as we head over there. And uh, please enjoy this build and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you in advance for tapping in and pulling up and uh, I appreciate you all, and if you're so inclined, like, comment, share, subscribe. If you feel anybody else needs to see or should see or you would like them to see this content, because know that that's how the algorithm works. You help and YouTube helps. Again, thank you guys for tapping in. Peace. I'm just scratching the surface. Down. This is a dangerous group. The dreams that we're dealing with now. Down. This is a dangerous group. The dreams that we're dealing with now. Down. I'm just scratching.
I'm just scratching the surface. I'm just.